Hello everyone, this is Parameta. I believe sharing knowledge increases knowledge and also sharing happiness increases happiness. Recently, I have passed Salesforce JavaScript Developer 1 certification. As part of that certification, I have also completed Lightning Web Component Specialist Super Badge. I have decided that I will share my journey to learn Lightning Web Component with all of you. This is a win-win situation because as I said, I believe sharing knowledge increases knowledge. So it's win-win situation for both of us, you who is right now watching this video and me, Parameta. Okay, so let's start. In So in my last video, I have shown you how to create your first lightning web component. We created a component called first and there you can see I just, I have just uh, like that component only show you like hello parameter. Okay. And I have discussed about the variable, how to declare the, like how you can access the variable from JavaScript inside the HTML file and the file structure, all those stuff. Okay. So today, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss how we can apply some style. Like right now you can see, uh, you can see it's showing hello parameter, but there is no any style, like any layout or anything color. It's it's not really uh, nicely visible on the screen. Okay, so so to do that, to do, to do give some style, what do you have to use? We have to use CSS. Just like if you create a website, if you know HTML CSS, which I assume that you know HTML CSS JavaScript. So I'm not discussing uh, those things elaborately here. So just like to keep style to HTML, we use CSS. So here also we are going to use CSS. Okay. So I'm going to discuss that now how to do this. And I will also discuss today the decorators in Lightning Web Component. Okay. After, after showing you how to use the uh, CSS to design the component, I'm going to discuss about the decorators as well. And after that, I will also discuss like about the parent component and child component, how to pass variable um, from, prim uh, from parent component to the child component. Okay, so quite a few things I'm going to discuss today. So just watch and be with me. So here to save my time, I have already created uh, a component uh, called uh, first child. Okay, so here you can see first child. I'll just open them one by one. I have already created two components actually to save the time. One is first child, one is parent. So this is the first child component as I have already discussed when you create the component what happens, uh, it automatically creates the first, uh, like the one HTML file, one JavaScript file, and one XML file, okay? So in the XML file, what do you have to do? If you can remember, uh, I have shown that is exposed, you have to make it true. If you don't make it true, it's not going to be visible on your Lightning uh, Web Component app, okay? And also we have created a targets uh, tag here. Within targets tag, we have mentioned the target, like where it, it's going to be visible. So I have put three of these. If you want just one, you can choose just one. But I have, I have, uh, I wanted to visible in all like app page, home page, and record page. So <clears throat> I guess at this point, when you are learning Lightning Web Component, you have idea what is app page, home page, and record page, okay? So uh, to make it visible, the component visible, you have to do this, okay? Otherwise, even if you deploy in old, it's not going to be visible. Okay, so then uh, this is the HTML file, which is empty. This is the JavaScript file, which, which is empty at the moment. Now in the HTML file, I will just create a div. So if you have done HTML, you know what is div is just a HTML tag, div tag. 
in case if you don't know HTML, if you want to learn from the beginning, uh, recently I have created a very uh, nice course uh, for HTML like beginners who, who are just starting the coding. Make your first website. If you go to my YouTube channel and they are uh, in the playlist, just select HTML CSS for beginners. HTML CSS for absolute beginners. So there you can see on that, that course recently I just created. You can create your first website and host also for free. Okay, so this is just a div I created within the div. You can write whatever you want to write. I'll write this is my first component. Okay, so now this is just a div. Now, so this component I'm going to deploy this. How to deploy, how to create the project, how to create the component, everything I have already discussed in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that, then please watch that one first and then come back to this. Okay, so I'm not showing that again. So now I'm going to deploy this. So right click. Deploy source to org. Okay, so after deploying here, I'll, I have already refreshed the page so you can see here first child. Okay, now this first child component, I do, I do, sorry. Yeah, so this first child component, you can see this is my first component. Okay, the component is here. Now, Similar to this, uh, this hello parameter, this component, this component also there is no any style or anything. So what I want to do, I want to give it some style. So what to do? So if you know HTML and CSS, so there are what we do, we put some CSS. There are three, uh, like three ways to put the CSS. I'm not going to discuss them. But the best way is that we create a different CSS file and attach it to the HTML. So here also we are going to create a CSS file in the same folder that uh, that component folder first child. Here we are going to create a CSS file. And remember, here the difference is that you cannot give any name to the file. You have to give the same file name as your component name. Okay. So first child dot CSS because the lightning web component structure they have created like this see all the file name are same first child dot html first child dot js first child dot js meta xml okay so this is first child dot css and one good thing is that salesforce always make the things easy for us we don't have to give it a link tag and like this which we do normally uh, to attach the css file in the html in the head section we put a link tag but here we don't need to do this everything is done for us by the lightning web component uh, framework okay so so in this css file we are going to put the style suppose i want to give a width and a height to that div okay we can do it here whatever you want to style you can do now i'll give it a class name or id name whatever you like I'll give it a class name, class my div. Okay, you can write whatever you want. My div, and now I'm going to give style to this class. I'll give it a width, width 450 pixel. I'll give it a height as well, height. Three fifty pixel, and I'll give it a background color. Background color, blue violet. You can choose any color, whatever color you want. Okay, yeah. Now save it and deploy it to the world. successfully ran so now 
I have to refresh. Okay, because I didn't save, so it's gone from here. This time I'm going to save that. Yeah, this is the component first child where we are working. See. Now it has got a width of 450 pixel and height of 350 pixel. Okay, I'll save it. Now, this text I wrote here, this is my first component. Maybe I'll, I want to give some more, like I want to make it big and to give it a color as well. We can do this. It's just simple. If you know HTML simple, uh, CSS, so there is nothing new about that actually. Color, I'll give it a color of white. I'll give it a font weight of 600 I'll make the font size also bigger one mm, XX large okay okay so save it deploy Okay, just giving some Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I don't know why it's giving the error. Okay <coughs> Anyway, so we have already deployed Refresh the page. Look. So what we did, we gave it a color of white. So the text is now white. And we gave it some like font weight. So it's like bold. And also we made it larger size. Okay. So in this way, basically you can use the CSS. One more thing I would like to say here, Lightning Component, they have their own CSS library also, like Lightning Card, Lightning Button, all those stuff, okay? So, like if you go to the, I'll show you here, Lightning Card. If you go to the developer.salesforce.com, okay, so there are lightning web components. So they have some inbuilt CSS class as well. Like you have, if you have used Bootstrap before, when you do the HTML CSS website, you know, Boots Bootstrap is a, a CSS and JavaScript uh, library. So we often use that uh, Bootstrap uh, just to avoid that uh, lot of coding on CSS. Uh, so this is also like similarly we can use this like they have already created uh, created some CSS uh, library for us like card lightning card lightning button lightning checkbox and a lot of things are there you can see you can practice all of them one by one uh, it, it, it's, it's shown here also with the code okay so you can use all of these now for the time being I'll just show you how to use the lightning card like I'm closing this yeah like here I have created my own div if I wanted I could instead of using this div I could use the lightning card or inside this even inside this div like whatever I have used I'll use the lightning card wait yeah see if you once you write lightning it will come one by one all the uh, like available uh, things uh, in the lightning component uh, you don't have to even type everything okay so in future we are going to use lightning button a lot of light lightning like input field and stuff that time uh, you will understand more so for the timing I'm just using lightning card so this is a lightning card it's like 
Okay, so here I will give it a title. Title. This is a card. Okay. Between this, if you want to write something, you can write. <clears throat> I'll say. Hello. Parameter. Okay. Okay, so save it. Now deploy the first child. Yeah, it's done. So now we're going to see how it's looking here. Refresh. See how it's looking. Okay. So this is the card actually okay but inside that card whatever i wrote it didn't come i think uh, before uh, writing this one i have deployed that's why the writing didn't come like i wrote something hello parameter okay why it didn't come okay i'll save again i'll deploy Let's refresh. Ah, why we can't see? <laughs> because for that, this lightning card is inside this div, right? And for this div in the CSS file, I have given the color white. So it's there actually, but because the lightning card by default, uh, by default, its background is white, okay? It's created like this by the lightning uh, component framework so the text hello parameter it's becoming white color because this lightning card is inside this div and th in this div I have mentioned the CSS here color white okay what I'm going to do instead of white I will make it tomato Save it. Okay. Now deploy. Yeah. I have deployed it. So I'll just refresh. See. Now it's visible. Okay. So because so these things you have to uh, you have to be careful when you are working with uh, CSS and you are using nested uh, div and stuff uh, because uh, if you know already HTML CSS that's easy thing actually it's not difficult so what I wanted to show so that's how you can use CSS and you can give the style uh, to the lightning web component okay so I'm going step by step so gradually we'll do project also like from small project to big project uh, in the lightning web component so these are the basics because if the basic is clear then only we'll be able to do uh, project nicely okay so so css is done now i'm going to show you uh, how uh, how we can use like child component inside the parent component and how we oh sorry before that i'm going to discuss the decorators okay so what are the de decorators in lightning web component okay. now i am deleting this i'll delete all these things okay just to make keep it simple child.css this one also i'll delete everything delete and save child js is empty yeah we're not making any new component here we'll just continue with the same so this is example file everything is true and all good okay so first we'll discuss discuss the decorator now there are three types of decorator in 
uh, lightning web component okay one is track I'm just writing it here to show you we are not going to write it here in the HTML file so one is track one is API another one is where decorator okay now the variable when we are declaring the variable actually before you must have seen uh, that we are just writing like this in the javascript file we are just writing like this suppose a equals decorator okay so we are declaring the variable just like that now From now onwards, we will use the track decorator or API decorator. Why? Okay, I'll tell you. But before that, I'll go to the HTML file. And what I'm going to do, I will create some lightning card. And I'll give it a title. track demo similarly I'll create another lightning card I'll tell it API demo okay now inside this I write hello tracker inside this I'll write hello API okay just you can write anything just to show you okay now what's the difference between these two decorator tracker and API Okay, I'll not say it's hello tracker. What I'm going to do, I'll declare a variable. Okay, just give it a name A and give it a name B. Like in my last video, I have already discussed how to use the variable value from JavaScript inside the HTML file. Okay, you can say it's variable or you can say it's property. In Lightning Web Component, they say they call it property so whatever you say okay so it's just like variable in programming so this value of this variable is, is going to come from uh, from the JavaScript file the value of this variable B it, it's also going to come from the JavaScript so previously what we were doing in my last video I have shown you that we just, we just, we just declare the variable here a equals to whatever you want to give the value okay you can assign the value now here I'll write this is track value okay and for B I'll write this is API value you can write anything okay now Previously, we used to declare, uh, assign the variable like this in the JavaScript. Now, we are going to use track and API. So, what's the difference between the track decorator and API decorator? That's really important. Now, it's giving me error because when I am using this uh, uh, API, like these decorators, I have to import those here. And similarly, I use here API decorator. I have to import API as well okay now what is track what is API they both are decorator but what the track does like first of all why we use the decorator when we are using these decorators what it does it re-renders every time it ch it changes the value it re-renders the page Spe specifically you will understand uh, when we will use the input field and all the form we'll work with that maybe in my next video then you will understand more like like as as long as like as oh, sorry like 
uh, whenever the ch it changes the value in the input field and all basically it re-renders the page okay it doesn't do it that doesn't happen if we don't use this uh, decorator but between these two decorators which one we will use when track decorator we will use only for private variable okay when when we will keep the variable private that means that variable or that property can be used only within that component like this is the component what's the name of that component first child so i have used track uh, decorator for a property so that means this a variable can be used within this component this first child component only it cannot be used in any other component in any other parent component or anything but when we use this at api decorator it becomes public okay so that means this b i have mentioned api decorator that means this b property can be used in this component first child component as well as as well as it can be used in other component also okay so uh, soon i will show you about the first like child component and parent component that time i am going to use this one in the parent component okay then you will understand the difference so basically this is the main thing you should remember for private variable we are going to use track decorator and for public variable or public method also for public variable or public function also we can use this api decorator okay so if you have done java or anything you you must know like there are some key uh, like um, keyword like public private like this so this is also similar thing so track decorator is for declaring this variable as a private and api decorator is to declare this variable as a public okay api de decorator can be used to make the functions also public here later on we will do function when we will work with the event okay maybe in my next video i will show you that one and another decorator as i mentioned we have where decorator that is used to uh, work with the data okay when we will work with the data we will use this decorator i'll show you that uh, later on no worries about that so for the time being we are using this two decorator okay so now a equals to this b equals to this okay so now i'll go back to the html whatever i have done here i will save and i will deploy my component to the work okay Oh. okay so there is a problem see two problems is showing about this uh first child dot css because there is no any css there so that's why probably is giving the problem so i just deleted the css file and now i'm going to deploy it again first child right click deploy source to org and refresh the page here as i mentioned that i have created one uh, demo lightning web, uh, web app for me so where i practice like i create the I'm creating the custom component and I'm deploying them to see you can uh, you can see them in uh, developers console as well uh, that's a different way but I just like to see like this live okay so first child put it here yeah now see it's fine so it was giving error before because I didn't delete the css file because i created that uh, first child or css file but at this moment there is no any style so you cannot keep an empty file that means so you have to delete that so i have so these are the things you know we have to keep in mind okay so so now what's happening here 
now in the track variable I have mentioned I, I mentioned this value so it came like this in API variable I mentioned this value hello this is API value they came like that okay and you can see here I have used lightning card that's why it's giving the layout of a, of the lightning card okay so I have I haven't uh, created my own div style or anything here but as per your requirement you know you can use like you can combine them you can use normal CSS as well and you can use the lightning web component CSS uh, classes as well okay so here I, I am using lightning card okay so now so now you know what is the uh, lightning uh, like decorator track decorator API decorator and I have already mentioned the where decorator which I'm going to explain later on when we will work with the data okay now I want to show you how you can pass the variable value from a parent component to the child component now to save the time I have already created another component called parent okay so this is the first child component while we are working right now I will close all this so the first child component is looking like this say okay like that all right now I am deleting it from here or I'll just keep it and save it save okay so now in the parent component we'll close all the child files now in the parent component you can see there is parent.html parent.js parent.xml now here also in the xml file we have to make it true to make it visible on the app and you have to add these targets uh, uh, tag as well okay so I already explained those lot of time I'm not telling about this again okay so at this moment in the parent.js we are not doing anything at the parent.html what we are going to do so we just want to render that child component here okay so to do this just you have to mention the child component like this C hyphen and the component name the component name what is our component name first child first child okay yeah just like that I'll save it and then we'll deploy the parent component now remember when you are working with child and parent component like this you must first deploy the child component if you don't deploy the child component then the parent component will not render <coughs> because this parent component is dependent on the child component if the child component is not available that it will not render the parent component <coughs> so here the first child component parent component they both are in this lwc folder what i'm going to do i'm going to deploy the lwc the whole folder so both of them will be deployed in the org Now I'm going to refresh the page. Now see this one we are seeing it's already from the uh, previous uh, thing actually. Uh, that time, uh, that time we created that first child component. It's already from the previous one. But now I am going to show you the parent component which I created now actually. Yeah. see the parent component is this one okay it's same like the child component because I didn't do anything I just uh, put the child component uh, there okay now I want to show you the difference not the difference like how to pass the uh, value from parent component to the child component now here in the child component if you go to the child uh, first child component 
in this uh, independent component javascript file is totally empty okay nothing is there okay now everything we are getting here from the child component that's first child now if we go to the first child there you can see in the javascript file we have two variables a and b and they they have been assigned some value here that's what we are seeing on the page now instead of we want instead of using this value they will use the value from the parent component so for doing this here we can mention it like this when we are uh, mentioning this child component here within this first within this opening tag a equals this tracking is from parent component okay similarly i within this tag i will also declare the another variable value i'll say this api value is from parent now see what happens here okay look carefully save them and then deploy so i'll go to the w uh, sorry lwc folder because my ch child and parent both are in that folder so deploy now i refresh the page now the parent component will go because uh, i didn't save that one yes yeah, see so the parent component here i'll put it here just to see see what is showing hello this is track value and hello this api value is from parent see this is the child components this is the parent component now for the track demo the for the track a was the track variable if you see a was the track variable a and b if you go to child.js see a was the track variable okay now see the difference for a the val it's not taking the value from the parent component it's taking the same value which was assigned in the child component the first child component there we assign the value hello this is track value it's showing in the parent comp uh, <coughs> when we rendered the parent component it's showing the same value but the api is changed see api value in the child it was hello this is api value but here it's showing hello this api value is from parent why this track uh, variable value hasn't changed because it's track variable okay because when I mentioned the difference between track and API decorator, that's the main thing. Track is used for private variable. You cannot access that variable. You cannot change that variable from other component, parent component, anything. You can access that variable within that component itself. That's why it's track. But API, when we declare a variable as with API decorator, a variable or function, that means that is public that can be accessed and changed from any other component that's why from the parent component when we access the b variable here the value has changed it took the value mentioned in the parent component hello this api value is from parent okay so now now you know that what's the difference between track decorator and api decorator clearly okay and also we learned how to pass the <coughs> how to pass the variable value from the parent component to the child component 
okay so i'm just trying to show you it very easily without any confusion because if the basic is clear then when you do when you work with the data when you work with a bigger project it will be easier to understand that what is happening okay all right then so today i will stop here <clears throat> So in my next video, I'm going to discuss uh, probably, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to discuss about the event, how to handle the event in uh, Lightning Web Component. And we are going to create a calculator. So it will be a mini project for us. It will be really, really exciting, isn't it? Creating your first project on Lightning Web Component. So please, 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 if you like my video, please subscribe and follow me so that uh, you can watch my next video easily. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.